guys welcome back to another video so today we have another tutorial video on in the on this channel uh another stormworks tutorial video on how to build a fully custom door that can lock and then open so here i've built up a, a little example you can lock it it will do weird things like that um okay yeah Okay, now to actually build this here, you want the your door pieces, so that includes door frame controller. Now you can just simply put this here, and then, or anywhere, a door frame corner, like this, and then I'm going to put a little space in here. And make sure you actually have space so you can put things inside of the door if you want to. So just keep doing this. Okay, now once you have actually made the door frame itself, you then want to cut out a part like this and put in your, your hinge. Just like that. Now, you want to put in the actual door itself, so you need a door panel corner, door panel edge. Just fill these all in, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just put the corners in the corners, and the edges on the edge. Okay, so once you have done that, you may now customize this as you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to get a one by one window here put this in like that put this in like that and then two toggle buttons two toggle buttons just like that now to set this up you'll obviously need a battery a switch box miracle switch box and two constant numbers okay go to your logic go to electric hook up all of your electric just like that now when you go to your data you want to name this one or yeah make this a one and make sure the second value is on two go to your logic so first we're going to set up the numerical switch box. So this value is 1. So if we send this to here, this means when this gets a signal, it will give a rotation target a, a value of 1. So this will rotate to 1, and when it has no signal, it will be a 0. And put this to your switch okay so basically what this is doing this this one this one gets active right this is active this this is giving it this value telling it will give the hinge here this value to rotate and when it's not on give it this value which in this case is zero and you can change the values, so if you want to move more, change the values. Now this just opens at a 90 degrees angle, 90 degree angle. And here, pretty simple, just connect that straight to your toggle button to lock it. Now, your door, I don't know what that was, should just work like that. Close, lock it. Now you can't open it, unlock it, open it. Just like that, you now have yourself a working, fully customizable door. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And see you guys in the next video.